And now at 5 o'clock, a Miami-Dade police officer hurt and hospitalized after facing a dangerous situation. A bullet grazing that officer in the face. But, but what it hit first likely saved his life. 7's Danielle Garcia is live outside Jackson Memorial with the story you saw first on 7. Danielle. That's right, the cop is lucky to be alive, and it was all thanks to his bulletproof vest. This situation really could have been so much worse, and everyone is just glad that it wasn't. And after a more than eight-hour search yesterday, police now have five people in their custody. We're just grateful that he was wearing a vest and it helped protect his life. A Miami-Dade police officer lucky to be alive rushed to the emergency room after a bullet grazed him in the face while on a stakeout. Fellow officers arriving to support their colleague, soon learning his bulletproof vest performed as it was designed. The shooting happened just after 10 Monday morning in Miami Gardens. Police and SWAT then swarming the neighborhood near Northwest 154th Street. Seven Sky Force over the area where a handgun laid in the middle of the street. I was just uh, raking my yard and I just heard something like a firework. The next thing I know, I heard the police. Surveillance video showing heavily armed officers and their canines going door to door as the manhunt ensued. Moments later, at least five people leaving a home at the center of the investigation and detained. Miami-Dade Police Director Stephanie Daniels joined by Mayor Daniela Levine Cava at Jackson Memorial Hospital. We know that our officers put themselves in the line of a fire on our behalf each and every day. So we stand with them and we pray for them. Director Daniel says any day you hear about someone being shot in the line of duty is a difficult one. It doesn't matter what capacity that I'm in, you never want to hear a call that one of your colleagues, whether you work with them directly or indirectly or for even another agency, to be called and say that they were involved in a shooting. So at last check, police are investigate or are still trying to determine those five men's involvement. They have not yet arrest announced any arrest just yet. For now, reporting live at Jackson Memorial Hospital, Danielle Garcia today in Florida.